Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show you a couple different ways that you can create some sort of affiliate disclaimer on your Shopify blog. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and um, you know, this is these are just some blog graphics that I already created. I'm going to create a graphic that um, has text on it and just insert it like a picture. So I'm excuse me for just a moment while I try to figure out which one of these guys that I want to use because I'd like to use something with an image, um, something that, you know, has some text on it and looks pretty. Um, I like to use things that aren't really supposed to be used because then it, uh, makes it look a little bit more interesting. Okay. So for instance, I'm going to take this and make it bigger. So just something like that. And then I'll take this one, make it bigger. Just like that. And then I'm going to make this one say affiliate disclaimer. And I have I have that here. So I don't know that I need this particular thing on there. So I'm going to take that off. Then let's see if we can make all this just a wee bit bigger. Like that there. And Actually, I think I'll just, I mean, this really doesn't need to be like that big, right? Okay, so maybe that's a little bigger than we need, but you know what? It's all good. Okay. So I just quickly, um, I just quickly created that obviously just let me do that in real time. So you can do that however you want. You know, if you don't want to do it that way, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to show you a different way where you can just do it with text, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you, um, that particular way. And I'm kind of like, I want to put my own brand colors in here, right? So I'm going to change that, and then I'm going to change that, and now we are in business. Okay, so I'm going to name this um, um, Affiliate Disclaimer, and I'm just going to download it. Um, what's great now in Canva is that you can deselect all pages and then just select that current page that you want to use. Now, if I really wanted to be awesome, I would probably export it as a JPEG, but you know, whatever. Um, we'll see if this drags my, my site speed down or not. Okay. So now I'm over here on my um, actual Shopify page. And so where I went here, just to show you, um, if you go to online store and then themes, you'll get this right here. And then you want to click on customize. And up here at the top is where you customize the different types of pages and templates. So what we're trying to um, customize right now are the blog posts. So I'm just going to go to the default blog posts that um, Shopify gives us. I've already kind of customized it a little bit with this uh, Clavio email form because I'm like, okay, I got to try and get a better way of um, getting people 
to sign up for my email list via the blog. So I just made this. I just put it in. I know it's some of the most beautiful thing, but I just want to see if it is helpful at all. And so this is going to show up at the bottom of every single blog post. So that's really great. Now, um, the next thing that I wanted to do was I want to, you know, insert that image. So there's an image banner here. Oh, ee, that's huge. So I don't know. I don't know if we want to do that, but let's take a look here. We'll upload our affiliate disclaimer. We'll see what this looks like. Because again, I'm doing this in real time. I did it a different way, um, but then I thought, oh, I could probably make this a, a uh, image. But um, let's just say we use that. Um, I was wondering if that might fill it in a little bit better. Okay, so this one I'm not loving, so we'll just take it out. Um, let's see if we can do it a different way. All right, so we had the image banner, the image with text, rich text. Let's try this one. So we can select the image here. And this is better, but I guess I, I should have thought more about like how I could um, how I could fill this out. And it just seems like, wow, that's such a a, a big image and, and thing for just uh, for just an affiliate disclaimer. You know, it's like, I don't really want to, yeah, there we go. We'll turn that off, turn that off and turn that off. So I kind of wish that we could put the image on the other side or something, or at least center it, but it doesn't really seem like, oh, darn. And this is where I thought maybe we could do a dynamic source, but we can't, not for the blog um, affiliate link. So, okay, again, not the most beautiful thing in the world, but because it is not the most beautiful thing in the world, uh, that's all I can do. That's all I can do is put it down there. So, um, yeah, definitely wish I could center that, but you know, it's fine for right now for the purpose it serves. Okay. So that's one way that you can do it. Um, and because there's not a lot of options there for doing it with an image, um, you may not want to do that. So let's, let's turn that off. And instead, let's just do like a, um, oh, wait, hold on. Let me go back here really fast. Image. Hmm. Small, Ooh, large, no. We're going to hmm. that at least kind of balances it out. Oh, here we go. Text first. Ooh, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so at least that kind of brings your eye down to the right, which to me just makes more sense than to go to the left. So that's perfect. Okay, that's how you do one with an image. Yay. Um, so let us um, make sure that we have alt text here. So this is the affiliate disclaimer. Or, oh, I don't need dashes, right? Okay, affiliate disclaimer, a collage of wood. Um, and you know what? I've been getting these errors from Ahrefs talking about how I keep um, accidentally linking to a non-HTTPS website. So I'm just going to put that in there. That's why. Okay, um, so perfect. Now, if you like this, uh, we can... We can see what it'll look like on mobile as well. Oh, look how nice that'll look on mobile.
So, which is great because on mobile, that's where a lot of people are shopping from, right? So I like it, but just in case um, you don't like that, you just want to do text, you can instead add just like a rich text. Let's see. Yeah, a rich text box. Okay, so here it says talk about your brand. Um, well, we don't really want to, you know, make it any bigger. We don't ne necessarily need a button here. But what we can do is edit this text right here to include our affiliate links. Now, I tried to do um, something funny here. And so I think I might actually take this part out. That says there are indeed affiliate links on this site, but only because I'm trying to make money to support my coffee habit. So please use them if you're so inclined. It just means I might make a few cents if you do. But more importantly, by clicking on those links, you might just find some amazing products that you never would have discovered discovered otherwise. So go ahead, click away, and thanks for supporting my coffee addiction. So um, I really like that. Now I wonder. All right, so that's just a fun little way to do an affiliate disclaimer. So um, let's see, I might even put that right here. And there we go. So it all, you know, kind of defaults to whatever your um, theme settings are with text and different things like, you know, font, all that type of stuff. So let's take a look at one of my actual uh, blog posts. Okay. So let's go to my website and let's go down here to a blog post. This is one of the most recent ones that I wrote about volleyball gear. And so if we scroll down here, see those pretty graphics I made? Woohoo! Hello, affiliate links, right? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. All right, so there it is. There it is at the bottom, your affiliate disclaimer. So now it's gonna show up on every single blog post and you don't have to worry about doing it again. Um, let's just really quickly see what it would look like um, what it would look like if we use the other one, that one. Okay, so I just saved that. You can see this is just the text. And now we have, you know, this affiliate disclaimer at the bottom. So, you know, one thing I would maybe do differently is like maybe just put the text affiliate disclaimer over here and then take this off the graphic. But now you can see there's a couple different ways that you can do it. So um, I think it looks better right now um, not having the image, but instead going with the rich text. So um, I'm going to make that visible. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Make that visible. And that will be what I go with for right now, just to have that affiliate disclaimer at the end of all of my blogs. So that's how you do that on Shopify. Um, I hope that helped. Let me know if you have a different way or if you have any questions, I'd love to uh, chat about it. So, all right, bye for now.